hello everyone uh, today uh, i will produce you about uh, the summary of uh, propositional of logic in proof so this is uh, the video is i will uh, produce for summary of logic uh, the first propositional of logic and the proof And the first, uh, we will to know about the basic definition of logic. So logic is study of a criteria used in evaluating inference or argument. So it means that logic we study about the true and false. Which one is true and which one is false in our life? This is the meaning full of law logic. Or we can say logic is study is the study of criteria used in everything inference or argument. And the next, what is an inference? So an inference is the process of reasoning in which a new belief is formed on basic of or in virtue of evidence of proof supposedly provided by other belief. This is the inference. And what is argument? An argument is a collect of statement or proposition some which are intent to provide support or evidence in favor of one of the other. This is the meaning of action. And what is a statement or a proposition? So we should be no logic we study about criteria using evaluating inference or action. And this is what is an inference, what is an action, and what is a statement or proposition. So, statement or proposition is something that can either be true or false. We usually think of a statement as a declarative sentence or a part of sen sentence. So, it means that we can summarize about the meaning of the logic. So the meaning of the logic, it means that we study about the statement or proposition. If we study about the statement or proposition, it means that we study about the either true or false. And we usually think about the statement to declaration about sentence or a part of sentence. This is the meaningful of our logic. And this is the symbol uh, of our logic or the symbol of connective in our logic. The first is symbol. We have name, how to read this symbol on how to explain and some example about this symbol example in this point in this point it means that we should know about this one this is about the symbol in our logic it means that negation. Negation we can write about like sorry. We can write about like this or something. Or sometimes they write about print. This is our negation. Example, we write negation A. We can write negation A like this. 
or we can write negation a like this or we can write negation a like this this is depend on to the other book that they write or the writer they want to learn about negation the name is negation when we read when we example i write p and negation q but in our reading, they don't want to write to speak in negation because negation is so long. So we can speak only P and not Q. This is, is okay. P and not Q. So negation, when we read, we give only us, uh, not. And the explanation of negation, the statement. Uh, not A is true if and only if A is false. So it means that if we have A is true. So not A. Not A is false. If false. And not A is equal to not a or a or a print this is not a and the example if we have our example or some property not and not is it like like, like our operation uh, negative and negative is positive so negation and negation is possible so negation not a not and not a is equivalent to a example x beside y so if only if this one we can say if only if or equivalent not a equal to y not x equal to y if x beside y equivalent to not x equal y this is the meaningful of x beside y and the next point about this junction junction so this junction it means that or we can call all this name is disjunction and we can read all this statement a or b is true if a or b are both a or b or both are true it means that the statement A or B is true if A or B true or A and B are true is true. Besides this is false. So this junction is false when the statement A and B is false. So A or B is false. Besides this is true. And this is only the example of this one. And the next, the next about conjunction. This is conjunction. Conjunction we can read as the statement A and B is true if A and B are true. Otherwise, it is false. Otherwise, it means that a true b false is false, a false uh, a false b true is false, a false b false is false. So it's true only one case. A and b are true. This is a and b is true. Beside this, it is false. And the next, the next is talking about the name of implication 
implication or we can write imply or something we said if and then if a then b if a then b it means we use this uh, symbol of implication if i sometimes i write if uh, i write here if A then uh, B so we can write A imply to B this is the meaning this is like in symbol or in our rule A imply to B A then B if A then B we can write if a then b this is about the meaning of our symbol of implication so implication we can do imply a imply b or a if a then b this is our reading in implication a imply b if a then b is false when a is true and b is for. otherwise it is true so it means that have only one case that implication fall if a true and b fall if a true b fall it means that a imply b is fall other side is true or otherwise beside this uh, uh, rule is true and the last one The last one is equivalent. Equivalent. So, what is equivalent? Equivalent. So, equivalent is there. It means that about uh, we read if and only if, or we read about if. If. Sometimes they write if. The if it means that the same as. The same as. So you can write if and only if, or you can write if, or you can write the same as. Example A if B. So it means that we can write A. equivalent to B or if A if and only if B so this is also a equivalent B this is our uh, letting in symbolic and this is our read, reading in low logic. So from this uh, brief of our uh, Latin and our reading or some explanation, some explanation is mean that uh, in logic there are five operations or five uh, connective like negation, dejunction, conjunction, implication, and equivalent. And equivalent, sometimes we can call equivalent or equivalent logical. This is our uh, connective in logic. So we can call and connective and about we can call about operation in our logic how many connective and how many operation is the same in logic there are five connective or there are five operation in our logic the first about negation the third uh, the second is the junction the third is conjunction the fourth implication and the last one and the fifth is equi equivalent 
So you can use equivalent implication, uh, negation, conjunction, and dejunction is also. So negation is the name. When we read, we read not. Dejunction is name of uh, our symbol in logic, but we read all. Conjunction is and. Uh, imply or implication, we can read imply or if and then. Equivalent, we can read if and only if or if or the same as. This is our conjunction. And the next. And the next, we talk about the trust value of logic. So, trust value of logic is depend on to the statement or the proposal, uh, propositional of logic. If we have three statements, P, Q, and O, so we get the value denoted by 2 power N. It means that N is the number of our statement. If our statement have three, like P, Q, and O, so the value of P is equal to 2 power 3. 2 power 3 is equal to 8. If it equal to 8, it means that, it mean that uh, we got about the true is 4 and 4 value is 4. So in this case, I write 1, 1, 1 and 0, 0, 0. This is our value of P. And the value of Q is equal to 2 power 2. 2 power 2, it means that we got 2 true value and 2 forward value. And the value of R is equal to 2 power 1. 2 power 1 is equal to 2. If equal to 2, there are 1 true value and 1 forward value. Notice that true value led by number 1 and for value led by number zero. But some other book they write about uh, the true value. Uh, true value they led by T. And the for value they led by letter, letter F. So this is depend on to the, the writer they led. Sometimes they led true value is number one. Uh, the four value is number zero, and some book they let true value like by letter T, and uh, uh, and uh, the four value led by letter letter M. This is only our letting in uh, some book. Don't be mind about number one, number zero, or letter T or letter M. This is only our letting. Our letting. This is uh, how to draw about the or how to draw and how to write uh, about the value of uh, logic in our trust table. So if we want to write the value in our trust table, example if we have P. P, uh, we have only two proportion or two statement. If we have P, so two statement is only four. So I write P is the value of P is one, one, zero, and zero. And about Q, 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 the value of Q is one, is zero, and one and zero. This is the value of proposition or statement P and Q. If I have three uh, proportion P, Q, and O, so P we have the value 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0. And Q is 
and 0. And the statement or the preposition or is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0. This is our writing in uh, trust table, writing the value of a, a statement in our trust table. And trust table or trust uh, table, how to uh, write in trust table about the statement or the connective. Example P, we have only two uh, statement Q we left by this one and P or Q so we should be know about all P or Q or P this is the kind of symbol disjunction disjunction it means that P or Q is false when P and Q are false Otherwise, it's true. So, our P is true in here. P is true. And our fault. Uh, it means that P is true. Here. Yeah. P is true. Q is true. So, P and Q is true. And P is true. Q is false. So, P or Q is true. P is false. Q is true. P or Q is true. This is false. And Q also false. P or Q is false. This is our uh, drawing. Our drawing. And it's true, true, and false. And about P and Q. P and Q is true only one case. P and Q true when P and Q are true. Otherwise, it's false. So, P and Q, P is true, Q is true. So, P and Q is true. P is false. Uh, P is true, Q is false. So, P and Q is false. P is false, Q is true. So P and Q is false. P false, Q false. P and Q is false. And imply, P imply Q. P imply Q fall in one case. It fall when P true, Q false. Otherwise, it's true. So now we got our P is true q is true so p implies q is true p is true q is false so p implies q is false p is false q is true so p implies q is true p is false q is false so p implies q is true so the uh, implication symbol is for only one case it falls when p true and q fall otherwise is true it means that implication for when the initial condition true and the last condition is false, otherwise is true are true. And about the equivalent, p the same as q or p if only if q. This is equivalent. So equivalent it means that is true when the value of uh, both statement are the same value. The same value sometimes it's a true value or sometimes it's false value. If P and Q true, P uh, equivalent Q is true. If P false, Q false. 
so p equivalent to q is true so it means that equivalent true when this statement have the same value sometimes true uh, true value or false value if true value each other our equivalent is true if for each other our equivalent is true also and otherwise if p and q have different value so it is false so it means that p true q true so p equivalent q is true p is true q is false it means that our equivalent p equivalent q is false P is false, Q is true, our equivalent P and Q is false. P for Q false, our equivalent P equivalent Q is true. This is our the summary of our connective in trust table. How to find about the uh, dejunction how to find about the conjunction, how to find about implication, and how about the equivalence. This is how to write about the uh, value, the trust value, or the value of our logic in trust table. And the next, the next, uh, this is only some example. Please draw the trust table of our statement uh, draw about the statement P or Q imply to P and Q so before we write before we draw about this statement we should be how many initial uh, condition or initial statement are there in this statement so in this statement we use only two initial uh, a proposition like or sometimes they call about the variable P and Q so P and Q there are two statements it's two statements P have four value and Q have two value the first we should be led about statement P statement Q P and Q P, uh, P or Q P and Q and P or Q imply to P and Q. So we write about the value of P. This is the value of P. True, true, false, false. The value of Q is true, false, true, false. And the next, the next is this our, uh, I think this is our, uh, like, uh, dejunction about dejunction uh, or or p or q so we have already p or q uh, for when p for q for otherwise is true so this one is true 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 and false and p and q true only one case p and q are true is true otherwise is false so it's true for for and for and how about implica uh, imply or if p and q p or q then p and q so implication uh implication uh, explanation uh, it means that uh, the implication fall when the initial or the first statement true and the last statement is false. So it is false. Otherwise, it's true. So our first statement is true. P of shoe is true. P and Q is true. So P of shoe imply to P and Q is true. P of Q. It's what P or Q is true and P and Q is false. So P or Q imply to P and Q uh, is false. It's false. And the third row also P or Q is true. P 
and Q is 4. So P of Q imply to P and Q is 4. And P of Q is 4. P and Q is 4. So P of Q imply to P and Q is true. This is the uh, trust table in our statement P. The value of our statement P of Q imply to P and Q. And we have the value is uh, true, false, false, and true. This is the meaning of implication. And practice. This one is practiced by yourself. Uh, please draw the trust table of statement below. The one, number one, is P imply to uh, negation or imply to not P or Q. Uh, number two, P and Q or or. Number three is not P or Q, equivalent to not P and not Q. And number four is P and Q or P and or. This is uh, our practice. Please to practice about this statement by yourself or to do individually uh, when you have the time please draw about this trustable of four statement below or for this statement and the next so in our uh, connective we have to summarize and what is the meaning of negation what is the meaning of the junction, what is the meaning of uh, uh, like uh, conjunction, the meaning of implication, and the meaning of uh, equivalent. And we know about some example of uh, equivalent, of implication, of conjunction, the junction, and negation. So now we should we know about the type of proof in our logic, or kind of proof in our logic how many kind of proof in our logic and how many type of logic or proof in our logic the first is direct proof direct proof and the second is proof by contract positive contract positive and the third is proof by contradiction contradiction and the fourth uh, is proof by case or we can call B condition. Proof by case or B condition, it means that uh, uh, sometimes we call uh, equivalent, equivalent proof, or uh, proof by counter or example. So proof by directly. By directly, it means that we take our uh, information to show directly without using any point without using any letting about contract positive contract positive it means that we show about the uh, we show about if p if we want to show p imply q true True, so we only show uh, not P imply not not true and not P is true. It's true, so it is uh, it. Then we got a uh, P imply true is true. This is our uh, about contract positive. About proof by contradiction. Proof by proof by contradiction, it means that we have only uh, proposition or only statement. So we saw by uh, assume. By assume, uh, not P to solve until not p is untrue so we get about uh, uh, and p is false so we get uh, p is true 
and by case or by B condition. It means that in our connective P equivalent to uh, Q true, we only show uh, P imply Q true and uh, Q imply P is true. So P and Q is P equivalent to is true. This is proof by case or proof by B condition or proof by our equivalent. Proof by our by counter or example. Sometimes this is we call about uh, proof by example. It means that we take some example to uh, NT with our uh, like with our uh, information example I, I say that uh, 2 uh, 2 plus 3 example all integer number or integer number A and B A plus B is true or a plus b is odd number or a plus b is even number example a plus b is even number even number even number but when i i take example example a is uh, two b is one so it is equal to three so a is integer number b is integer number integer number plus integer number is odd number so but in this information i said that a and b is even number but when i take this example a and b is even number so my information is false it's not true at all it's just only true by some of information is not true at all this is our proof by counter or example or example and now we just go to uh, what is direct proof what is direct proof uh, the simplest form of our logic perspective style of proof if a direct proof often all that is required to prove something is a systematic explanation of what everything means direct proof are especially useful when proving implication implication then the general form of proof if p uh, imply Q is this example assume P explain we explain about P and until we got about Q and often we want to prove universal statement perhaps of form or X PX implied to QX Again, we will want to assume PH is true. It's true. And deduct QH. So if we have PH is true, and we can deduct about QH. But what about X? We want this to work for all X. We accomplish this by fixing X to be an arbitrary three element of the sort we are instead in here are example of about direct proof example true or integer if n is even then n power 2 is even so solution the form the format of the proof will be this let n be an arbitrary integer assume that n 
is given. This one is n, not n n yeah. N is given. Is given. Explain and explain and explain. Therefore, we get n is n power two is even number. To fill the detail, we will basically just explain what is mean for n to be even, and then see what that mean for n square. It is a complete proof. How to prove about if n is even? Then we got n square is even number. So the first let n is integer number, or suppose n is even number. So if n is even number, how about even number? Even number is the number that can divide by two, and we have no remain. So for some integer k, k is integer number. So now we got n square. N square is equal to two k power two. Two k is equal to four k square. Four k square we can write two multiplied by two k square. Two k square is integer number. Integer number multiplied by two is even num even number. So if we got n is even number. We always have n square is uh, large even num even number. If uh, n is odd number, so n square is also odd num odd number. Direct proof we can solve by from our small to the big one, but it's different from contract positive. Contract positive, if we have the big one to solve about the small one, so we should be so by our uh, contract B, uh, contract posi position, and if we have, it's another example. If we have uh, n is odd number, example n is odd number, uh, odd number. Is odd number, so n square is odd number also. So we can let n odd number is two k plus one. K is belong to z, is integer number. So we got n square is equal to two k plus one over power square. So we get 2k power square is 4k square plus 4k and plus 1. So this one we can write 2k, 2 and 2k square plus 4 or plus 2, uh, plus 2k, yeah. plus 2k and plus 1. This one is 2k square plus 2k is integer. Integer multiplied by 2 is even. Even plus 1 is equal to odd, num, odd number. So if n is odd number, we get about n square is odd number or also. This is the kind of our direct proof. The kind of our direct proof. And the next. The next uh, proof all integer a and b and c. If a divide b and b divide c, then a divide c. Here x divide y rib. x divide y mean that y is a multiplication of x. It means that that x will be divided into y without remainder. Solution of this one, even before. This is only our briefly how to uh, solve this problem. We should be know exactly what we first to do. So even before we know what device symbol mean, we can set up a direct proof for statement. It will go something like this. 
let a, b, and c be an integer number. Assume that a divide b and b divide c. Dot dot. It means that we have blah blah blah, and therefore a divide c. So how do we connect two dot? We say what our hypothesis. Our hypothesis or our information we got a divide b and a d and b divide c. This is hypothesis. Uh, really mean and what this give us what the conclusion a divide c really mean another way to say that a divide b is to say that b equal to k a so it means that b can divide by a for some integer k this is and that b is a multi multiple of a multiple of a what are going for then c is equal to l a for some integer l uh, because we want c to be multiple of a so how to prove about this one let a b c is integer assume a divide b b divide c in other words b is a multiple of a and c is a multiple of b so there are integer k and j such with b equal to k a and c equal to j b <coughs> combining this through substitute we get that C equal to J K A because C equal to J B and B equal to K A. So we substitute B by K A. We got C equal to J K A. But J K is integer number. So this say that C is a multiplication of B. Therefore A divide C. It means that C can divide by A. If a divide B and B divide C. So A is divide C. In this, uh, for example, in our small example, we just, uh, we can write example, uh, 2 divide 4. It means that A divide B and B divide C. 4 divide a so we get so we get 2 divide divide a this is our example in is the example of in general a divide b and b divide c imply to a divide c or 4 can divide by 2 and a can divide by 4 so we can get a can divide by by 2 because 4 can divide by 2 a can divide by 4 so it means that 4 or uh, 8 also can divide by by 2 this is our uh, direct proof of implication and the next uh, what is the proof by conflict positive uh, recall that implication P implied Q is logical equivalent to each contract positive. Uh, is not Q uh, implied not P. There are plenty of examples of statements which are hard to provide directly. But who contract positive can easily be proved directly? This is all proof by contract positive. Does it give a direct proof or contract positive of implicate implication? This is enough because contract positive is logical equivalent to original implication. Uh, the scatalon is proof of P imply Q by contract positive. We will always look rudely like this assume the first assume 
not q explain until we got the not p as before they are variable or 25 we set them by arbitrary element of our domain so this is the example of uh, our proof by uh, contract positive if the statement for all integer n and n if n square is even then n is even number so it is different from our uh, our direct proof our direct proof the start from n uh, can be by n square so this one is n square to n so this from the small one to the big one if from the big one to the small one so this is we can solve by direct proof this is we can solve by contract positive contract positive it means that we expand from the big one to the small one not expand we can uh, conclude from the big one to the small one and direct proof we can conclude with all we can expand expand from uh, the small one to the big one is direct proof so direct proof and uh, contract positive it means that it's uh, vice versa uh, from big one to the small and from the small to the big one so the solution is this is only our letting or our explanation this is convert the statement we prove about direct proof for typing few examples. This statement is definitely appear to be true, so let's prove it. A direct proof is a statement would be required fixing about v n and assuming n square is even. But it is not at all clear how this would allow us to conclude anything about n. Just because n square is equal to k does not itself suggest how we could write as a multiplied by 2 or something so now we feel about in detail we will provide contract positive let n be an right uh, integer number uh, suppose that n is not even number and that's all that's all number and then let n to k plus 1 for some integer k now a square a square uh, n square is equal to k plus uh, 1 power 2 is equal to this one like my explanation about uh, something about something and 2k square plus 2k is an integer so we got n square is odd number odd number then therefore not even not even and another example consider the following statement for every prime number p either p equal to or p is odd number so we can refresh this for every prime number p if p opposite or beside 2 then p is odd now try to prove this now this is uh, we can let p uh, be a prime number assume p is not odd so p is divided by uh, divisible by 2 since p is prime it must be exactly two divisor if only two as a divisor so p must be divisor by only one and two therefore p equal to uh, this complete the proof by our contract positive and what is the proof by contract vision? Uh, proof by contract vision it means that uh, 
uh, there might be statement which really cannot be replaced as implication. For example, square root of 2 is irrational number. In this case, it's hard to know where it to start. What can we assume? We say, uh, say we want to prove the statement P. What if we could prove that not P implies Q? Where Q was 4. Where Q was 4. It means that we will to prove from not P until to uh, not condition in mathematics. Not condition in uh, mathematics. So we got our uh, hypothesis of P is true. And if the implication is true, then Q is false. And what can we say about not P? It must be false as well, which make P true. And this is why proof by contradiction work. If we can prove that not P lead to contradiction, then the only conclusion is that not P is false. So P is true. That what we want to prove, another word, if it is impossible for P to be false, P must be true. It means that we, if we want to show about the statement P true, we should be sure or let about not P is true. If not P is true, we show about not P until we have fall. So it is not P fall, it means that P is the true statement. This is our proof by contradiction. Example proof that square root of 2 is irrational number. So this is easy way. Uh, suppose not then square root is equal to a fraction a divided by 2 without losing general, generality assume a divided by 2 or a over 2 is in lower term otherwise reduce fraction so we cannot a and b is uh, we can call is a prime number uh, is prime so otherwise reduce a and b cannot divide each other you know a can be not divided by b so we let 2 2 is a a square over b square the first we should by uh, uh, we let we let about square root of 2 is equal to a over b so this is square root we uh, take our power 2 uh, the right hand side and the left hand side we got 2 2 2 is uh, equal to a square over b b square so we have 2 b square equal to a square it means that a square is a uh, even num even number uh, because a if a is even number so we let a equal to 2k for some integer k and the a square is equal to 4k square we then have 2b square is equal to 4k square so b Square is equal to 2k square. So I got b is even num, even number. So a is even number and b is even number. So a and b is not prime number each other. It's not prime number. Uh, now, but a over b is a uh, fraction. Fraction is even number each other. So A and B is not even number each other because A and B have, have uh, A can divide by 2 and B can divide by 2. So A and B is not 
trump number each other so our presuming or our assuming square root of two is uh, rational number or fraction it is four so if it is four square root of two is not fraction so if it is not fraction square root of two is a rational number a rational number so a rational number is the number or the fraction number that we cannot denote about the uh, digit after the the comma or after the point or it's not a we can call about uh, the logic uh, uh, recycle of our number. Example, another example prove uh, that there are no integer x and y such that x square uh, x square equal to 4y plus 2. Uh, our solution we proceed by contradiction so suppose there are integer x and y such that x square equal to 4y plus 2 so uh, 4y plus 2 so we can 4y and plus 2 we have 2 is factorized so we factorize of 2 we got 2 uh, multiplied by 2y plus 1 2y plus 1 but 2y plus 1 is integer number. So it is x square is even number. So integer number divided by 2 is even num, even number. Oh, we have seen that this implies that x is even. So x equal to 2k. For some integer k, then x equal to 4k square. This is in turn giving. Uh, 2k square equal to 2y plus 1 but 2k is even and 2y is odd number because 2y is even number plus 1 is odd number so this cannot be equal there thus we have a contradiction so there must be not any integer x and y that x square equal to 4y plus and what is the proof by case the proof by case it means that we should be proof about q to p or not q imply to p uh, or some statement q so uh, to q2 to p or q and 2 to p this is our statement so this is example for proof for any integer n, the number n square n cube minus n is even number. So we consider to test if n is even or if n is odd number. Case one, n is even, then n is equal to 2k for some integer k. This gives n square minus n equal to uh, 8k cube uh, n cube here yeah, not square uh, minus 2k so I uh, factorize 2 I got 2 4k square uh, cube minus k and sin 4k cube minus k is integer number this is say n uh, it means that n cube minus n is even number. And case 2 is n odd number. So we let n equal to 2k plus 1. For some integer k, this cube is equal to n cube minus n equal to 2k plus 1 cube minus 2k plus 1. We got 8k cube plus 6k square plus 6k plus 1 minus 2k minus 1 so we got this one is 2 multiplied by 4k cube plus 3k square plus 2k so 3k cube plus uh, 4k cube plus 3k square plus 2k is integer so this is also uh, even num even number
n cube minus n is even number or also. This is our proof by a case because we have two cases. Since n is uh, n cube minus n is even number in both exhaustive case, we see that n cube minus n is indeed always even num even number. And proof by counter or proof by example. It is almost never okay to prove the statement with just an example. Certainly not of the statement proof about can be proved uh, through an example. This is because in each of those cases we are typing to prove that something whole of all integer. Uh, example uh, about we prove for all integer a and b if a plus b is odd number then a is odd or b is odd is this the converse true now we know what to do to prove this converse of four we need to find two integer a and b so that a is odd number or b is odd number but a plus b is not odd number it's so even number example i have a is equal to one and b equal to three is odd number so we got one plus three is equal to four four it is even number it's not odd number so our uh, hypothesis it is uh, four it is four because odd number plus odd number it is not odd number it is even num even number it is even number so this is our uh, proof so this is all about the kind of uh, summary of logic uh, the main point in our logic, the main point in our logic, it means that we just talking about the connective, we just talking about the kind of proof in our logic. So the firstly, we should be know exactly, we should be know exactly about uh, about the connective and about the kind of proof in our logic. What is connective and what is the meaning of a connective and how to prove by each uh, step of our direct proof, of our contract positive, of our contradiction, of our by case, proof by case, or proof by counter, or proof by exam, example. This is for our uh, summary in our logical. And Thank you very much for your uh, watching this video. I think maybe this video will help you to remembering about logical and something in our uh, propositional logic and proof of our logic lesson. <coughs> Thank you very much for your watching and we will <coughs> see you next uh, for other another video which I produce for how to solve about the uh, logic uh, by uh, any case or by any kind of our proof. Thank you very much.